In this video, I'm going to be reviewing a brand new set of headphones that I just received. These are the Meze Audio 99 Classics. They come in three colors. I got the one in Walnut Gold. You can also get it in Walnut Silver and also in Maple. Check out all of the colors on the Amazon page that I've linked down in the description. You can also check out the Meze Audio official website. I've also got that down below. Let's go ahead and unbox this. Here you'll see it comes with the very nicely designed set of headphones. Before I jump into this, I'm just gonna show this very nice carry case. Inside here, you only have one additional carry case, which is for all of the cables. Now, just note, these are not wireless Bluetooth headphones or anything like that. You will need to use a cable and use this as a wired set of headphones. But any set of headphones that uses a wire will always have better quality than wireless ones. This is the cable you'll most likely use with the headphones most of the time. It's 1.2 meter thread Kevlar OFC. It also has a mic and remote on there as well. Additionally, it also comes with a three meter Kevlar cable as well, just in case you need that additional length. And this is always a nice touch. It's an airplane jack adapter. Then you also have a 3.5 to 6.3 gold plated jack adapter just in case you wanted to connect this to maybe an amplifier, or if you're a musician and you wanna connect this to certain instruments, then you know this will really come in handy. So there's multiple use cases for these set of headphones. So you literally put in the headphones, you slot that there, the cable pouch goes in the middle, like so, and you're ready to take it away. This is a heavy duty hard case, so you can be sure that the headphones won't get damaged when you travel with this. Now, one of the unique sellers about these headphones is the design. Now you'll see on the right hand side, these ear cups are actually made of real walnut wood. Now, the one thing that I was fascinated about this wood particularly, they're handcrafted. So the finish on these are unique to every single set of headphone. So no matter if you have five of these, every single grain or design will be unique to each one. It's kind of like fingerprints. Everyone has their own unique design. So, and I just feel like that's a very nice thing to have. Of course, you know, this will be more interesting to those types of people that would buy this specifically for that type of design purpose. In addition to that, you have the gold plated attachments. You have one there on the headband with the Meze logo. Then you also have the stainless steel headband at the top that connects to the ear cups. Then you also have the small trim that houses the headphone jack. And the other thing I really like about these headphones is that the headband is self-adjusting. So when you put it on, you literally just adjust it by pushing the headphones up and down. You don't need to manually pull their headband out of its kind of hinges. So I think that's quick and easy and it's there for really good convenience. In terms of its design as well, one thing I just wanted to highlight, you can see at the back of the box and also on their website, they've won a whole host of awards over the years. So that's a really good thing to see, you know, when you have a premium set of headphones, if they have been recognized by industry experts. And for those people, you know, that are very environmentally conscious, then you don't need to worry about that with these headphones. They don't have any plastic on them whatsoever. The wood is actually sourced from countries that have a certificate of origin and are made by trees that are at the end of their life. So they have really focused on making sure these are environmentally friendly as possible. In terms of how they make this, if you check out their website, the section around the wood technology, as they call it, you can see here, you know, they mentioned that they use air drying, which is, you know, quite a long and expensive procedure. The process of shaping just each individual ear cup takes around eight hours and the whole process end to end, you know, from sanding and lacquering and finishing it lasts a total of 45 days. So you can pretty much be confident that the process on building these were just not quick and made by machines. You know, they really took their time to make sure it's perfect, which I think goes a long way when you want to have a set of headphones that will last a very, very long time. The only difference that I've noticed with a lot of my previous over air headphones, this one actually has two jacks that need to go into each ear cup rather than one on each side, which I think and I predict will provide a much better audio input to the ear caps, giving you a much better sound output. So they do have left and right listed on each of these. There's the control. This is a button that you can use for playing and pausing the music. Then you also have a mic on this end to take phone calls. So let's put this on. There we go. Now, if you do have a phone that doesn't have a headphone jack, then of course you need to use a headphone adapter, just like that one for my iPhone. Let's go ahead and I'm going to play something on Spotify. Now, you guys can also try to hear out to see if there's any noise leaks. I'll take it up to about 80% volume 
and give you a review on how it actually sounds. So just right off the bat, I just need to say that the bass is fantastic in this. You know, it has provided very tight and punchy bass with a very quick response. So I was playing, you know, music that had a lot of bass in it, a bit of R&B, a bit of hip hop, and it provided bass that was never overblown, which I feel some companies have tried to do and focused a little bit too much on that. Overall, you know, it's probably not the loudest and punchiest bass, but the mid bass on this I think is really good. But honestly, I think one of the main characteristics of this as well is the seamless integrated flow of sound that makes it very natural when you're listening to it. And I've not had that sound in any of my previous headphones, in any headphones to be honest, that I've used in the past. I just feel like if you're watching maybe a TV show or a movie on your phone or wherever on your laptop, then it just makes you feel a little bit more immersive because the sounds sound a little bit more natural to whatever you're watching or whatever you're listening to. It's a little bit hard to explain, but honestly, I feel like I am part of whatever I'm watching. And I think that's a really great thing to have, especially for headphones if you are paying this much for it. And one other thing that I've also noticed is that I don't need to put the volume up very loud to be able to get a sense of realism to whatever I'm watching or listening to. So that's really convenient for me because if I have a set of headphones where I have to go close to 100%, that's you know very damaging to your ears for listening for long periods of time. So I feel like it's a little bit more safer and that's a key thing to have, especially if you're using this outdoors and there's a lot of ambient or environmental sounds where you need to put the volume very high. This does you know quite a decent amount of noise isolation. They're not noise canceling in any way, but I can feel more confident knowing that I can listen at lower and safer volumes for lengthy periods of time. And just going back to the point of noise leaks, did you guys hear any of the music that I was listening to? My shotgun microphone is very close to me. It is very strong, so it should be able to pick up any type of sound. If you didn't, then that confirms what I had suspicions of, is that this does have very good noise isolation. So you can have that level of privacy as well in case you want to use this in an environment where there's a lot of people around you. And finally, the last thing that I would say, which I really like about this set of headphones, is that they're super comfortable. That's probably one of the biggest criteria for me because if I am working from home remotely, you know, I have eight hours of my working day, but maybe four or five of them will be spent in meetings. And I do have a headset that I use specifically for meetings and they do start hurting my ears after like one or two hours of just keeping them on. That's primarily due to the pressure of the headbands. If they're very tight or they're very heavy duty, they press against your ears and then you feel like you need to take a break. This one fits so comfortably around your entire ear, the memory foam ear pads, and I know every headphone has a lot of soft memory foam ear pads, but it's the pressure from the headband that really forces it to make it uncomfortable. This one is very light, and I'm actually surprised how light these are, because just by looking at them, you probably will feel like this is heavy duty, but it's not. Because of the very thin stainless steel headband trims along the top, everything else is light memory foam pads, and the walnut wood is quite light as well. So for me, using this for maybe five, six hours in one row, I think I wouldn't have much of a problem using that. So that is a big thumbs up for me. The only downside I would say is because they are quite big, they're not very foldable or portable. You have a large carry case, so I wouldn't consider these as a very portable set of headphones that you can take with you anywhere. If you are going to be using this just at home or in the office and you know most likely they'll stay on your desk most of the time or you have a studio, you listen to music that you're maybe recording or anything like that, then it's a perfect set of headphones. And you know what I'll probably use this for? I may even use this for my gaming headset. So when I connect this to my PS5 gamepad, I can play you know online with my friends for long periods of time, you know Call of Duty and that kind of stuff without having to worry about my ears hurting from having long gaming sessions. That is going to be a very convenient thing because connecting that to your gaming controller would require a wire anyway, but because the audio is so realistic, I think when you immerse yourself in games, this will also be just as good as listening to music or watching you know, Netflix on your laptop and so on. That's it guys. Any other questions you have on this specific set of headphones, 
let me know down below. Now, if you did find this review useful, make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up. I have new videos and new tech reviews out every week, including headphones. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of those ones. And I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.